Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 animation series. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at sockets and how they can be used within your animations inside of Unreal Engine. So what I'm going to do is just take a moment to briefly explain what a socket is, some of the different scenarios that you will be using them in, and then from there we'll be moving on to how you can create them and also in the next video we are going to be taking a moment to show you how you can attach items to sockets, spawn items at sockets, get the socket location and all of that good stuff. So that's probably going to sound like a bunch of nonsense to you at the moment so let me just go ahead and try and explain a socket. So essentially a socket is something that you can attach to a bone within a skeletal mesh. Now the purpose of a socket is essentially to be able to attach something to that socket so you'll be able to put an item there. What you can also do with that socket is get information like the location for example. So some of the different scenarios where you might use a socket for example is let's say you've got a character that is going to be swinging a sword you want to attach that sword to the hand and the way that you do this is by creating a socket on the hand bone and then attaching that sword to that socket and then with the socket what you can do is sort of transform that, rotate it, move it and so on to get the best possible sort of grip with that sword so it goes in the right location. So essentially a socket is something you can add to a bone and then manipulate and use to attach objects, spawn objects and all of that good stuff. So if you're not working with a character, another example where you'd use a socket for example is if you've got a gun and the engine needs to know where the bullets are to come out of, you would create a socket at the muzzle, spawn a, pro uh, a, pro <laughs> spawn a particle system there, or you could also fire the projectiles out of the location of that muzzle wherever that is. But that muzzle socket is always going to move with the bone, with the animations and all of that good stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how you can create one. So creating a socket is really simple. So first things first, you need to have a bone that you can parent it to. So like I said, with the socket, the socket is going to move with the bone. Now I'm just going to make a simple little socket on the player's hand and the hand that we're going to work with is just the right hand over here and what I'm going to be doing is essentially just putting a cube in this guy's hand and you're going to notice that it's going to move with the hand as it plays some animations. So on my skeleton tree on the left hand side I'm just going to find my hand underscore R so that's my right hand bone right click that and what I can do is simply add a socket and you'll notice down at the bottom here I've now got a socket and by default it's just taking the bones name and adding socket to it for me that is perfectly fine now what you can do with this socket is you can move it up down left and right and whenever you attach an item to this it's going to get that socket location. So if it's slightly offset from the hand, when you attach something, it's also going to be slightly offset. So it's gonna be at the location of this little dot here. And you can use all the normal transformation stuff to rotate this, move it, scale it, and so on. So what you can do, so let's say you wanna put an item in this character's hand you can use something called a preview mesh to essentially put an item in that socket and then move that socket around with the preview mesh in place so you can see exactly how it should be. So what I'm actually going to do is go and add a cube into this player's hand. Now notice straight away I put this in here it's way too big so what I can do with the socket still selected I can simply just scale this down and then I can place it in there just using all of the normal transformation tools to just make this bigger, smaller, I can rotate it, I can put it anywhere I want to really. So now you can see I've got a cube in this socket and if I was to attach this to the socket later on it's going to go directly into that location so I don't have to move it about with code or anything it's going to take 
the scale from the socket, it's going to take the rotation from the socket, and it's also going to take the location from the socket. Now, what I'm going to do is quickly show you what I mean by this object is now going to move with the socket and with the bones. And the way that you can do this is by actually using a preview animation. And the way you can use a preview animation is pretty simple. So we've got this character here, UE4 underscore skeleton. What I could do with this is jump into my animations tab and you will notice now that the cube is actually moving with the hand. This probably isn't the best of animations to try with this. So let's instead, instead take a look at the death animation and you can see that that cube is staying in the hand and it's moving with the socket. So if you've got something like a weapon or a sword and you want it to move with that hand, then you can. So hopefully you guys are starting to understand just how you can use sockets and what they're used for inside of Unreal Engine and are starting to get the bigger picture. Now what we're going to be doing in the next video is taking a moment to show you how you can actually attach an item to the socket in game because at the moment this is just a preview mesh. If you were to jump into your game it is simply not going to be there. So I'm going to show you some very basic blueprints to spawn an item in uh, at that socket and some of that good stuff. So anyway guys, once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.